Hello guys, welcome to my channel The Minis of Tech. Today we are going to see how to install SQL Server using Command Prompt. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to the Command Prompt, and we have to open the Command Prompt in as run as administrator. Okay, so I opened the Command Prompt, and now. I'm going to see where is the media file okay so you can see that I have kept the media files here so we have to go to the location where the media file is there so I'm just going to connect okay okay so I'm connected to the media files and if you see I just wanted to show that nothing is there in sql server no sql instances are running same thing you can see in the sql service nothing is there in in the system that we are going to install now so here is the command that we are going to run so you can see that you know uh, means what are the parameters that i have to give to install the sql server so here you can see that we have to give the setup.exe and these are the parameters that we want to give like where the temp directory, data directory and log file should be going. So here quite simple means it will show you the status okay, and will run in the background. And I accept uh, SQL Server license terms. Okay, then again xn is equal to install, features is equal to SQL. So in command prompt it only allows to install sql not the mix mode okay then instance name is i am giving here sql 2023 here we have to give the sql account okay uh, with which the services should be running so here it is the local machine not a domain machine so i have given the nt authority system if you have the domain accounts though so you can give here the domain name and here you can give the username that should have the administrator uh, you know admin access like that you know which account has to be you know added as a system admin so i have given as the rayu okay rayush and again the agent the agent should be running with which account so that again i have given the local system account only you can give as per your uh, uh, domain name and all here security mode is like the mix mode or uh, sql mode so here we have to give sql features means sql if i have given then it may it will take the sql engine and sql replication and full text so these three features it will be taking while installing the command prompt okay so here at the same time i have given the sa password i have given the instance directory like what is the instance directory or system databases where it should be going so i have given this system db where this instance directory will go same i have given you the sql temp directory where the temp files should be going then sql user db directory i have given like the data then the log files i have given here so and finally i have given the sql backup directory so all the required parameters I have given here if you want to give more details like the number of files okay how many a number of files should be created for the temp DB you can give here okay like the temp di DB directory 01 02 03 04 and here you can give the count if you give the count like 8 it will take 8 at the same time you can give the what is the minimum memory and maximum memory it should be so that also you can give and define here okay so without making any delay we are just going to run the command and let's see how it goes okay so i have pasted the command let's see okay so as i told you that if you have given a uh, quite simple so it will not allow you to modify anything over here like back or back next or cancel but it will show you the status while it is installing okay but if you get the 
slash q are quiet so it will run in the background and it will not show you any status over here okay so that is the main difference of quite simple and simple okay so the question is from where did i get all this information okay okay so i have given here you know i have taken all these things for the microsoft site where they have given all these details like slash sa, SA password then security mode and all the details has been given so you can find the more details here that is given here again the sql collation if you want to give so sql service account sql password everything means whatever the options are available that we can give it here okay so let's wait for a couple of minutes and see how it goes and uh, as per my understanding using the command prompt it is very fast and it will be completed in within one or two minutes okay so let's see till then it is installing we can see some other options like you know here's this max parameter you can see sql max dot parameter setting that also we can set up then file stream level all the features that we are going to install through the uh, gui same thing you can use through you know having the command prompt Okay, so we are almost near to complete. Okay, I think it is finished now. okay so till then it is you know completing the final uh, you know the steps meanwhile let's uh, open the ssms Okay, so it is completed here. Okay, and if you go to the services.msc, it should be showing there. Okay, here you can see it is installed. SQL is not started, so I'm just going to start it. Same thing you can see in the control panel. Okay, here yes, so you can see that it is installed. So let's connect to the SQL server. We have given SQL 2023. Okay, so we can say that we are able to connect now. Okay, the SQL 2023. So here if you want to change the, you know, the SQL type like mix mode or something, then you can do that. okay windows authentication mode so here you can change that so it will take the sql authentication and windows authentication both so sql server and windows authentication both i think it's already selected 
okay so this is how it works okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video and you got the clarity how to install using the sql command prompt i think it is hopeful to you it is useful to you so like my channel and subscribe for the upcoming videos so next video we are going to make how to install sql server using the powershell this is guys thank you